Welcome to the AACS Daily News. State Senator Becca Rouse, representing the Norfolk, Bristol, and Middlesex counties, has filed a bill to require the use of masks in grades K-12 through schools and certain child care programs this fall. Senator Rouse says that the bill will align the state with COVID-19 guidance from the CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics. We spoke with her to learn more. Currently, Governor Baker is failing to comport and comply with the expert recommendations of the Centers for Disease Control, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and hundreds of public health and medical experts right here at home in Massachusetts, all of whom say that we need universal indoor masking in all school settings for everyone age two and up, beginning in, in just a number of days, really, at this point. The bill is filed because of the administration's failure to follow that scientific guidance. Uh, and the bill would bring us into compliance uh, here in Massachusetts with those expert recommendations. So the bill contains three pieces. One is about masking. Uh, another is about uh, making sure that kids who need to get to their vaccination appointments are not penalized from an attendance perspective. Uh, if they need to get vaccinated during school hours, there's no attendance penalty there. And we also put into the bill paid time off for parents taking children to get their vaccines. Um, vaccines, again, are currently available for all people age 12 and up, um, not yet available for children under 12, which of course is a big part of this conversation uh, because none of those younger children, really grade six and below, have any vaccination protection even available to them at this stage of the game. Uh, the executive branch is the appropriate branch of government to take this action. They are the more nimble branch. They are the branch that can act more quickly. They are the branch that can um, respond should the science uh, shift again, should the uh, more variants arise, should we need different kinds of multi-layered protections as well going forward. Uh, but unfortunately, we have a real um, absence of leadership and action from the executive branch right now. It's uh, disheartening and disappointing to say the least. This is just another in a long line of failures of the governor to lead in moments when we need centralized statewide guidance. COVID-19 does not know boundaries. COVID-19 doesn't know the difference between one school and the next, between one school district and the next, or even between one county and the next. Nearly all, or I believe at this point, all of Massachusetts falls within the CDC's guidelines for indoor masking. The CDC has been consistent throughout that anyone who is not vaccinated should be masked indoors. Public health and medical experts have said time and again and explained it multiple times why variable masking policies, right, allowing for some people to be masked and some people to not be masked, uh, just is totally unenforceable and um, will fail to provide the protection that we need for all people in school communities. Also, our school communities are not actually limited to the uh, municipalities in which those uh, schools are located uh, through a number of different programs, including the MECO program. We have, we have students coming to different districts from a variety of different places. Um, we have districts receiving students from different municipalities. We also have teachers coming in from all and staff coming in from, from different communities. We need comprehensive statewide guidance that is clear and that puts public health and protecting the safety and health of our students and families and teachers and everyone engaged in any way in a school community, that those priorities are centered. I've actually lost count at this point of the number of people, um, parents who are really worried, who have been following the science, um, teachers, staff members in schools, school committee members um, who have been in a, incredibly difficult positions for the last 18 months, uh, sending me messages and calling me up and saying, thank you. Thank you so much for speaking up for science and safety and for at the state level, which is where this kind of leadership is so desperately needed. So we still have to acknowledge the fact that while we may be very tired uh, of dealing with COVID, COVID is not done with us. And we have to take, we have to use every available tool in our COVID mitigation toolbox. Masks are an important tool.